Hello and welcome to the video how to configure an approval process with multiple approvers. When using approval processes in Remedy Force, sometimes you will need that more than one users provide their approval in one record. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to add multiple approvers in one approval process and I'm gonna show you a demo so you will see how this functionality works. So let's get started. Before to continue further, if you don't know how to create an approval process from scratch, I recommend you to watch our video How to create an incident service request approval process that you can find in our YouTube channel. Being this said, let's continue with this video. I have this current approval process for the incident object. Here, you will see I have only one approver. And also, I cannot modify this existing approval process because it's already activated. So the first thing we need to do is we need to clone this approval process and give it another name. Save the changes. And now you can see this new button, new approval step. Click on it. And let's create a second approval step for this approval process. Give it a name and click on Next. Here, you can specify an step criteria. For this example, I'm going to select the first option and click on Next. The third step is to select the assigned approver. I'm going to select the second option and in the lookup field, I'm going to select this queue. In the reject behavior, you have two options. What should happen if the approver rejects this request? The first option is to reject the complete approval process. Second option is to send the approval request back to the most recent approver, which is the approver selected in the step number one. I'm going to select perform all rejection actions and click on save. Select the no option and click on go. As you can see, we have now two approvers. I'm going to add another approver, give it a name and click on next. Now, I'm going to specify a criteria for the third step. Select the second option and I'm going to say if the incident type equals to incident, the third user specify will need to approve. Click on next and now I'm going to select the third option and select related user. Select the staff user and in the reject behavior, I'm going to select now the second option. If the third approver reject the record, I'm going to go back to the first step. Click on save, select no. And now we have three approvers. Now I'm going to show you how this approval process works. First of all, let's activate it. Go to back to approval process list and deactivate the original approval process that we clone. Now, in Remedy First Console, I'm going to create a new incident record. I'm going to match the approval process criteria. And in the incident type, I'm going to select incident so the three approvers will need to provide their approval. Click on save. Let's go to the details tab. Click on submit for approval. Refresh the form. You can see the first approval step is running. As you can see in the approval process, I am the first approver. I'm going to approve it. Close this window, reload the form, and now it's going to the second step. As you can see in the approval process, the queue car services is the second approver. All members that belongs to this queue will be able to approve. As I am part of this queue, I'm going to approve it. Click on approve. Close this window. And the third step is going to me as well because I am the staff member selected in the incident record. And if you remember, I select incident type equals to incident. That's the reason the third approval will need to approve. Let's approve the record. And now that we complete the three steps, let's go ahead and check if the approve field is enabled. Click on reload. And as you can see, the checkbox has been set true. This concludes the video how to configure an approval process with multiple approvers. Thank you for watching.